The title of the book is Realism in the Age of Impressionism, Painting and the Politics of Time. It's the story of the end of realism. It tells the story from the vantage point of five painters working in and around Paris uh, between 1878 and 1882. Each of these painters are members of a generation of artists that I call later realists. They are interested in mid-century realism and its devices, its stylistic qualities, and how it might be adapted to art in the age of Impressionism. I quickly discovered that there's a lot more to be said about realism and time. And not just the representation of time, but how the representation of time in paintings related to the cultural understandings of time. One simple fact is that time became synchronized and coordinated at precisely the same moment that realism was displaced by Impressionism. In 1884, the international community set out the 24-hour zones of the globe and divided time according to this 24-hour clock geographically coordinating time. The train systems in France, England, America, and elsewhere demanded that local times be coordinated to this 24-hour grid. This is what the book argues, that in fact these two things are very deeply related, that the emergence of this later realism is an attempt to make sense of the transformation of time, the synchronization of time, the rigorous division of time um, in various fields of life. Every day in class I'm thinking about how to convey to students the complexity of our cultural understanding of the art produced in the past, and my own research has uncovered various ways of understanding a specific moment in the history of art, and this applies to my general understanding of, of art.